So we're going to create a phi gauge or a, a phi ruler. Um, phi being the amazing number in uh, visible in nature, in mathematics, but in geometry it also seems to be one of those fundamentals. But it's uh, let's see if we begin the most basic of constructions, and that's the basic of pi -tees. Continuing with the series, so we need the construction line. And I've done this uh, vertically because just to make to help with the appearance of it, it doesn't have to be that way, but. Uh, I haven't changed the compass, I'm just going to highlight an equilateral triangle. There we have an equilateral triangle from the Vesica Pisces. Uh, we haven't changed the uh, size of the compass. And now I'm create a mark with the and on the other side, same thing. Um, because of the rules of the hexagon, what we've done is bisect the angle meaning that if I draw a just a soft construction line and the same across now where these two points have come we should have bisect we we have bisected this line. So now with our straight edge on those two. Now we've created a phi scale. Meaning that if this is one, then this is one point six one eight. Uh, now we can do and easily test uh, another. Method. We're going to do that by again drawing a basic of Pisces and we're going to correct it's just off the page but it doesn't matter. So now we're going to do a construction line. And now I've created four 90 degree angles. So if I now place my the circle I've just created is passed through on those four points. So now we've created a square or Now what I wanted, although the square is at 45 degrees, it, it's do another series of right angles. So we're okay now. What I want to 
do is extend this instruction line a little bit. I'm hoping that's enough. I'll do it here on the top line. So that I have it, make sure I have the room. Now what we need to do is to bisect this between these two points and without changing the compass I'm going to create an arc and an arc if I'd been that would have cut I was a little bit loose with my compass use and so it's off but Effective at one point at the center and the second point. Come on here. So we've now cut our square in half into two rectangles at a ratio of one to two, meaning. diagonal would have to be the square root of 5 respective to this being 1 and this being 2. Now we set our compass to this is a a repeat um, hermetic triangles and Ottoman's method uh, for, for pi so that, that we've adjusted our compass to the square root of five. We already have one and two. If I extend this arc. And this yellow line being one plus the square root of five, and the square root of five plus one divided by two equals five or 1.618033988877 etc. So this is now one to five. And we have five to one. 